Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the new KR Strike Force Mavericks. Uh, this is going to be my first ever time doing a uh, bowling shoe review and I'm super excited. So first of all I want to start out by saying thank you to Jason Guest for hooking me up with a uh, trial pair for these KR Strike Force Mavericks. I think they are incredible. Um, and going to kind of give you my thoughts on them. Uh, so, so far I've used them um, in league now. Uh, I have also uh, used them in a collegiate bowling tournament um, for a weekend. And I use them in several practices so far. And so let's go over some of the key points that I've seen. Um, as you'll kind of see some videos of the shoes here. Uh, just kind of pan around, pan arounds and like uh, some overall views of the shoe. So one thing that I've noticed so far is comfort. Uh, the level of comfort I find very high, which is very very common in KR Strike Force shoes uh, across the board. Um, it's something that I love uh, displaying to customers uh, in my pro shop, and it's something that I talk a lot about with KR Strike Force shoes. Uh, I've used uh, KR Strike Force for years and years. Back from uh, Hammer Forces, uh, I had some more Hammer shoes in there. I had the Rages recently, and now we're moving on to these Mavericks here. So the comfort is extremely high. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, is kind of gonna how I'm I'm going to be uh, rating these here. So on a comfort, uh, I'm gonna give them a nine out of ten uh, because I think that the soles, the inner soles on the bottom of the shoe. Um, on the inside are very, uh, very good. They are stretchy and they are comfortable and I think that they're sturdy as well. So they're stretchy yet sturdy, which I think is a great combination. Um, and so I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10 on the comfort scale. Now, another thing that I'll talk about too is this is my first ever uh, shoe to not have uh, laces on it. So something that's really cool um, is this new technology that KR Strike Force has come out with. And there are some other shoes on the market that are like this, but this is KR's first ever uh, time using something called the Fast Twist System, which is something that they uh, engineered and designed right here, and they have the airplane on them right there for the Maverick. Absolutely love that design, by the way. Great design choice um, from KR, but... Yes, so they don't have any laces. They have that fast twist system right there. So all you do is you pop it in and then you twist it. You could probably hear that clicking noise. That means that the shoe is getting tighter. And then to untighten it, all you do is pop it back out and you're good. It's, it's very simple. Uh, it's very unique and, and very um, durable as well. And it's very easy to use, which is great. So as far as the, the uh, lacing system goes, with the fast twist system, uh, I'll definitely give these shoes an 8 out of 10. Um, I think that there are slight improvements that can be made. The I will be honest, it gets really tight down here and not as tight up here. But still a solid score, 8 out of 10, um, just because of <clears throat> how that I feel that they um, tighten on my, f on my feet and the way that they are still comfortable. Continuing on, something I want to talk about is breathability with these shoes. So something that a lot of, uh, athletes talk about in various sports is the breathability of the shoes. Whenever you, uh, are performing in your sport, you usually are sweating and, um, and so it's very important to have shoes that are breathable to allow air in and air to escape and all of that stuff. So, as far as breathability goes, I'm going to give these a perfect score of a 10. I absolutely love the breathability. Um, I believe that this design here, uh, right here, and, and these uh, creases here, I think that that's the perfect design for having breathability as well as down here. Um, it's got this cloth uh, that is really, really breathable, and I absolutely love that from these shoes. That's one of my favorite aspects of the shoe. Besides just the overall comfortability of the shoes, I think they're extremely breathable which is great. Now, something that I do want to talk about um, is something that is um, a part of the design that I think some improvements could be made on. So uh, the only part that I really see that could be a little bit better is right here on the back. Um, there is kind of like a, a cross strip here, and this back part opens up and comes 
backwards this way, this direction, away from the foot. Um, and that's the only part that I really don't like because whenever I'm wearing them, um, it seems like it's really, really, really loose up here and really, really tight down here. And so I'd rather it just be kind of like a medium tightness overall. So this maybe goes straight back like most shoes do rather than going uh, bending outward like it does. That's the only main thing that I found that I didn't really enjoy. Um, as far as the overall design goes or anything like that, uh, that's really the only thing that I didn't enjoy. And now to kind of uh, wrap up here, I want to give one more rating here uh, before I get to the final one. The color scheme and the overall um, design of the like aesthetics of the shoe. So I love the colors. The navy blue looks very, very good. And I absolutely love the bottom of the right, because I'm left-handed, so the right sole is really cool with the beehive type design uh, with a bunch of hexagons. Absolutely love that. And it says Mav right here in the middle as well. I really enjoy that too. Um, the overall aesthetics of the shoe, uh, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Um, it's got really nice tones to it, the black, the dark gray. I love the blue as well. And of course the airplanes, great, great addition. And it matches my headphones perfectly as I just realized. I uh, didn't even realize that. But yeah, so I'm going to give an 8 out of 10 on the overall aesthetics of the shoe. And now to kind of finalize and generalize everything in one last rating of the shoe itself, just overall, I'm going to give them a solid 8 out of 10. So I, I definitely think compared to something like my uh, KR Strike Force Rages that I had um, previously prior to getting these shoes, uh, I would I would say that they are one step up from the Rages. I'd give the Rages probably a 7 out of 10. And then uh, from there, like the Hammer Forces, I would give the same thing, probably a 7 out of 10. These are a little more breathable than the Rages, which I think is great. Also, um, they have that same inner sole as the Rages, which is very, very comfortable. Wouldn't change a thing about that. And then aesthetically overall, I like the design of these a little bit more than uh, something like the Rages or the Hammer Forces. Even though those are awesome aesthetically, I, I just love the, the blue tones and the, the gray, the way they use the gray and the black in these as well. I, I want to say thank you again um, to KR for sending me this pair of KR Strike Force Mavericks. Be sure to check out Fusion Alley Pro Shop to get you a pair. Um, we'll be doing pre-orders now, and uh, they should be hitting our shelves around uh, December, the first week of December, hoping. And so, um, absolutely, and be sure to comment below if you're looking forward to getting a new pair of bowling shoes and what pair of bowling shoes that you'd be interested in uh, trying out if you could. And so, thanks again to KR, Jason Guest, awesome people down there, and be sure to like, subscribe, and leave that comment below. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you later. And it